It's great when you're sick or when you just want some comfort food. It's pretty basic and I love it because it really only requires chicken and rice to make and lemon juice added at the end. I wanted to up the nutritional value so at the end of cooking I add some chopped kale as well as some diced carrots to the soup. Alright, let's begin. Today I chose two organic bone-in chicken breasts with the skin on. Simply add the chicken breasts to a pot. Turn on the heat to medium high and add water to cover. Little touch of salt, place the lid on and bring to a boil and then reduce to a simmer for an hour or two. And don't forget to keep an eye on the soup, stirring it occasionally. You may notice that some of the water has evaporated. That's okay, you can always just add a little bit more. All right, now we're gonna peel and cut up some carrots. show you how to destem it. This thick, rough part is not always the best to eat. So we're just going to run our knives along each side of the stalk. The skinny little part is fine towards the end, so I just clip it off when it starts to get skinny. And then run it along the other side of the stalk. And this tough stalk should just pop right out. Then you can just finely chop the kale up. Kale is a nutrition superstar. Alright, it's been about an hour and a half and I'm hungry. So the flavor from the bones and the skin have gone into the broth. Put them aside for now. I'm going to pour this broth through a strainer. I like this strainer with a pointed spout because it ensures that the water strains through in a somewhat narrow and directed manner. It's great for putting on top of a mason jar if you just want to pour the stock in and set it aside for later. So you should be left with a nice clear broth. You bring the broth back up to a boil. You can use any type of rice. Once the chicken has cooled a little bit, just take it onto a cutting board and remove the skin Whew. so we have just had the nice meat. Whew, it's hot still. You also don't keep any bones because that's not good in soup. It's so satisfying when you get a huge chunk a bone off in <laughs> one fell swoop. The broth has now come back up to a boil. I'm going to add about a cup of rice. I don't want to add too too much because otherwise I'm going to have porridge and I want a nice creamy soup. Again I chose chicken breast with the bone in, but you can use any type of chicken with the bone in. That's where a lot of the flavor is that you need for the stock. Now all the chicken's cut up into perfect bite-sized pieces. Be sure to taste it for salt. Add. It needs more water. Don't be afraid to add some. Just juice two lemons. Keep checking the carrots to see when they're soft. When the carrots are soft, add the kale. Also add the lemon juice. Be careful not to get any seeds in the soup. Stir it up. 
One thing you can do is beat an egg and add it to it to make the broth a little bit creamier. The kale does not need very long to cook, essentially just to heat it through. And you want to do one final taste for seasoning. Mm -hmm.